Hey right, guys, I got a new video for you today, and especially uh, thank you for, to the assholes who are watching. I, I do appreciate your comments and insights the most because I can most easily relate to those. But uh, today I am playing on Lakeville, and yes, I see there are two scouts on my team, but I don't really trust them to actually do a good job of scouting. So, me being top tier in a medium, I know this may be a slow medium, but I'm going to go to the middle because I highly doubt those, either of those scouts will do anything worthwhile. And uh, if you watch right here, watch where this scout stops. And this is exactly why I like to play this way. That guy is useless. That top 64 is going to spot absolutely nothing. Unless someone happens to go right along the edge of the water all the way into the city. I, he's doing nothing. And yes, I do realize, oh, this is risky. I'm... I'm I, all, I could have gotten killed right there and not have done any damage. What would your stats do? I mean, they would just be awful. Well, I'm not a stat padder. I don't like stat padding. I am not a fan of anybody that just incessantly camps in the back and snipes. If you're in a TD with no armor, I understand. Play your tank to its strengths. But that does not mean you have to sit on the red line the entire game and not shoot at targets that are being lit all the way across the map because they're out of your render range. Move the fuck up to, till you can shoot. It's, not, it's that easy. And especially if you're playing a scout back there on the red line sniping. Well, if you're on my team, don't be surprised if I kill you myself. I mean, that that is just somebody trying to abuse the X of the M stats to make themselves look good. And honestly, I have no use for it. If you do that, you better hope not to be on my team. Because I, I won't just stand by and let it pass. And you can see here, I'm, I've already pushed up onto the other side of this rock and this E2 in the city is actually has actually been shooting me four or five times and I don't know if he's just an idiot and can't figure out where to shoot me or if he's not fully upgraded e either way it doesn't really matter and you can see here I I'm actually taking shots that are setting people other people up for the kills like I say, I'm not really that interested in stat padding. That's okay with me. Those guys are out of the game. I, I'm looking to win this game. Alright? And, you know, I, I don't really care who gets a kill. That's fine. I, the sooner they're dead, the sooner I can push up and kill the rest of those artillery. That I just absolutely cannot stand. Speaking of camping in the back I that's my opinion artillery is just the worst form of that yes I know I was an idiot here I used auto aim and I paid for it I got shot once there and here comes the next one when I go for the kill but he's dead and you know what everybody's got to be a little bit of a dumbass sometimes so I, I took my two shots worth of damage for playing like that I paid for it but so now score is seven to three and I've already gotten four kills and the only tank on the enemy team that is dead that I haven't either spotted or killed myself is that Panther M10 so six kills right there from me going to this one location and playing aggressive and now there's only one tank left on my side of the map that is actually really a threat to me, and that's a CDC. So I'm just waiting on him to die so that I can move up and finish off the artillery players. 
And there he shoots me. Oh no, I've been spotted and I start to back up and this STRV who had no business being there in the first place gets pissed. I don't care. You shouldn't have been there. Learn something. But, so now I'm sitting here tracked at the moment. But, still trying to get this CDC killed. There he is. So I'm going to put a couple more shots here into him. And this guy is basically just getting what he deserves for sitting there behind a rock the entire game. Thank you for the win, by the way. And someone else going to kill him, blah, blah, blah. And we're off. Going to chase down the artillery. But before I do that, got to be a dumbass again for a minute and run into a dead tank. Got to be a couple moments like that in every replay or they just suck. So, off to get the artillery and look, here comes the S-51. He's going to charge me because he's a bright feller. Yep. Uh, that worked out great for him. And then, oh, there's the other artillery. Yeah, he's dead. Very satisfying to kill people playing artillery. And here is my one concession out of this entire game to stat padding. I look up, realize I have seven kills now, so I hold my shot for this T-34 to make sure I get the kill and the Radley. And there it is. And uh, that's all I've got for you. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you later.